everybody, it's Kelly and I'm back with another layout and I have three pictures of my boyfriend and I at um, at this point a new to us sort of more localish brewery, although it is at least an hour away from where we are. Um, but it's become a favorite of ours to visit. So I'm going to mount those photos on this um, striped paper from Simple Stories Hello Summer. It's Who's Ready for Summer, the paper, which is funny because these photos are actually from April, but I thought the colors worked really, really well. They have a very limey green is their color, their theme color. So when I saw this striped paper, I thought, oh my gosh, that's like perfect for those photos. Then I mounted the photos there. You can see on that polka dot paper from Echo Park Summertime, it's the Hello Summer paper. So it's obviously in my summer envelopes here. The funny part is, is it's an April layout, but I'm going to use all summer supplies on this or all summer supplies from uh, summer collections. So I did um, find that three by four card that you see sitting there in my um, supplies. And that is from the um, Simple Story Summer by Vibes 12 by 12 pad, which is old. I bet that pad goes back to almost 2014 maybe. Uh, somewhere in that neighborhood. I don't have a date on it, but it's old. So I want to use that because I like that it has a lot of the colors that are in this layout, maybe just a little bit bolder, but I like them quite a bit. So it had a sentiment on there that I can't remember exactly what it was that wasn't like, it was like summer loving or something like that that didn't work. So I just took these uh, phrase stickers here from um, Bella Boulevard and that is the Bell Boulevard Little Bits phrase uh, stickers in the guacamole color and added those in. I found that VW Bug there um, on the Simple Story Summer Vibes Fundamentals cardstock stickers. And there was no VW here, but it definitely kind of signifies the feeling and kind of the atmosphere of this brewery, especially at this point we were inside because it was actually kind of a sort of semi rainy, not so nice day. They had some of the, they have big garage doors that they can open up. So those were open, but we were sitting in a more warm part of the brewery because it was too cold, but we go and you, you can play games and that kind of stuff, but it's got a really fun kind of trendy vibe. Um, the owner is definitely kind of fun and I get that sort of old hippie vibe from him. Not, he's not really an old hippie, but I don't know. There's something about the VW that was just this vibe and nobody else is going to recognize that except for me on this layout. But that's okay because I like giving those little visual cues to memories here um, and that just works really well. So then I found that unplugged chipboard and that, so that unplugged chipboard and the chipboard um, arrow there are both from the Photo Play Summer Daydreams chipboard and I, they worked really well on this. I liked the arrow up on top once I decided to put the VW bug on there because the arrow is a big shot of yellow as is the, the bug there. So I thought that was kind of a good, um, sort of color thing to do. I like the idea of putting that cassette on here again, vibe, but it just wasn't working. I didn't have enough room for the big cassette. If I had kind of thought about this more, I might have dropped that, um, the photos down and I could have done it. That kite there is from the, um, summer, simple story, summer days, bits and pieces. And again, it's more about the vibe than it is about actually, you know, that we had a kite or anything like that. I decided I wanted to use a camera and I liked that camera, but the color wasn't, it was a little off. So I found this other Polaroid looking camera from that um, summer days or sum, summer vibes fundamentals sticker sheet. So that worked better. And I did leave a little breathing room around that card. I could have put the, um, kite up at the top, but I decided I didn't like some of the holes it was leaving. And then I just liked the little bit of breathing room there. So that worked for me. Now I have some stickers here that I'm adding in from that simple story sticker sheet, just adding in a little bit of orange here, which doesn't really appear in orange per se. And the yellow's um, a little bit different, but I like 
you know, I like that mix of the cards up in there and the extra yellow shot because that seems to be a big accent for me. Here is the those colors. All right, so of course, I want to finish with some enamel dots, right? I'm trying to use up enamel dots here. So I have these white enamel dots and I don't know where they came from. They're not um, actually from the collection pack that I have sitting in them. I had pulled some of my colors of enamel dots apart and that's what this was. I think the only one that was maybe on this sheet are the ones that are more um, off-white looking, which are right next to that one. But anyway, so and these are fairly large. So I decided I really it liked one, you know, liked using these, getting rid of them because I have a hard time with some of those bigger shapes. I do want something else on here though. I'm thinking an aqua to bring in some more aqua. And I have these enamel dots, which were probably from Doodlebug, but I don't know that for sure. So I'm going to add um I only had three left, so I'm going to of, of this particular color. So I'm going to add all three of them onto the sheet and be done with these particular enamel dots. And again, they're big, but I think they they're okay because there's enough going on in especially in that bottom cluster. And I only used two in the top cluster, so as not to overwhelm. You definitely see them, but I kind of like how that works. All right, you guys, here is the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well, and I'll be back with another layout again soon. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.